Hello again. This is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 4th of November 2022. The first chart is the US Dollar Index Futures. Just put in some lines quickly. Now we've seen previously that supply came in on this bar and most likely came in on these two bars here as well. First we had a narrow spread up bar on an increase in volume and then a down bar in response on an increase in volume over that. And in response, price pushed back down to this breakout line, tested the breakout line and attempted to push higher this week but has closed poorly back down near the lows of the bar and is threatening now to challenge this 110 level, which if it was broken to the downside, would probably be a significant event in this chart. It might be worthwhile just quickly looking inside these weekly bars at the daily chart. I've done this a couple of times lately and some people find it instructive to do so. So this is the daily chart of the US dollar index futures. This bar is quite strong. Now you'll see back over here, price was pushing higher and then consolidated for a period. This was a breakout bar, marked the high of this bar. Price was unable to break out again and in response pushed back and found support adjacent to the congestion where price consolidated during this period here. Price then accelerated higher and back up to this level. Went through a period of consolidation again. You had a test for supply, a secondary test, an absorption bar and an absorption bar, a little shake out below the lows of all these bars, and then an absorption bar, which was effectively a breakout over two bars, and then price accelerated higher here and up to new highs. But this bar here had a narrower spread and far increased volume over the previous volume. Supply was likely coming out here but at the time it appeared okay. You couldn't have known at the time supply was serious and in response there was a test for supply and supply reduced or volume reduced. So supply potentially reduced. Price attempted to move higher early the next day, but supply definitely came in. It confirmed the supply overall. Volume was very high. Price closed below, albeit only just, below this bar's low. Supply came in here for sure over these three bars, almost no doubt. And in response, price cascaded lower. But it did move down to this line here, which was the breakout line on this bar. Tested it, found buying support came in and price accelerated higher again. So this was just a test of the breakout. Everything was fine to this point. A bit of supply had come in up here, but nothing too serious, at least at this point in time. But you can see from here, spreads narrowed considerably. Price stalled out. It wasn't able to reach the highs of the range up here. Now you would normally expect price to at least come up and touch this level, but it hasn't done so. It's failed to do so. And that's a sign of weakness. The market should at least come up and touch this line. If it can move above it, it's a little stronger. If it can't reach it, it's a little weaker. It doesn't mean it's seriously weak, but it's an indication of potential weakness. Price was unable to reach the highs of the range. Price pulled back, made another attempt to push higher, and once again was unable to reach the highs of the range up here and price pulled back again here and made a third attempt and this time it couldn't even reach the highs of the current range 
here, talk about reaching up here. This was definitely the market getting exhausted. The buyers were exhausted. They weren't able to muster enough effort to push price up to even challenge these highs up here. And then in response, two days later, this serious weakness came in, pushing price back down to the lows of the range and really threatening a breakdown, which occurred two days later on this bar here. And we bring this line further across. This is this breakout line from way back here. This time, price was allowed to dip below the breakout line. See how the market supported right at the line previously? This is a sign of potential weakness as well. It's not a serious sign, but it's another indication of potential weakness. Just like the failure to reach the range highs up here, this was a penetration below previous support. And sure, the market did eventually muster up enough support to push back out and above this level at 110. But the fact that the market was allowed to deeply penetrate below this line was a little sign, a little indication of weakness in the market. So price did push back out, tested for supply. This is a bit of a weird bar here. There's some testing in the bottom and a push out of the top. But in response, price moved higher. But then last night, Friday night, price sliced lower again, very high volume. It does appear that weakness has come in again and I'm expecting this 110 level to be tested again next week. And it's going to be pretty interesting because a break below this level would probably be significant for the market and confirm all of the weakness up here. And if it did so, it would be confirming it as serious weakness, not minor weakness, like these little indications here that we've seen. These are small indications. Sure, you've had supply here, supply here, supply here, but a market can still absorb back at the lows of the range, which in this case is the breakout line down here. It can absorb that over time and then make another challenge higher. But a significant break below 110 would be a serious event in this market because this market is associated with so many other markets, commodities, and currencies in particular. So that's the weekly chart again. We'll have a quick look at it again just before we finish up. The E-mini S&P 500 index futures. Now, here's the lows of the range. Here's the previous lows. We saw buying support come in here on this bar. And we had a buy the offer bar in response, a test for supply below the previous close here. And since then we had two up days. Now the breakdown line is only minor here. This is the stronger and more serious breakdown line up here. But there's a little minor breakdown line here. It's within this range. And price pushed up to it last week and pulled back this week. Now, this was an attempt to test the market for supply, but it's a bit of a wonky test. It's a wider spread than average. Volume was, was below average, which was good, but it wasn't a clear test. Now, sometimes markets have to roll with the punches, so to speak. If it's wanting to do one thing and associated markets, like, for instance, the US dollar index futures are doing something completely different, the market gets pulled in two directions at the same time. And you can get these wonky bars that don't quite look like you might expect. And they're certainly not textbook correct. But that's what you have to deal with. I expect this was an attempt to test for supply. And we'll see what the response is next week. You would expect a positive response if this is going to be successful. And perhaps just a push back up to this breakdown line. Or if it's really serious, you may get an attempt to challenge this breakdown line. But we'll see what comes of that next week. This is the US Treasury 10 year note futures. Here was the most recent breakdown line. And you'll notice that 
over the last four weeks, price has really only moved sideways just above this 110 level. This is an attempt to support the market. It became obvious here, price moved up in response, and this week price has pulled back pretty much as an inside bar within the range of the previous bar, more or less like an absorption bar. So there's an attempt to support the market here, and in response you may see price push back up to this line again next week, or you may even see a challenge to this line next week. Either way, the market has found a little bit of minor support. It doesn't look particularly strong at this point in time, but it has found some support, no doubt. Copper price futures. Copper price futures have been showing strong resilience for quite some time. There was a reluctance to move lower in this market. It certainly had the opportunity to do so. Look at all these bars where price could have really sliced lower. And yet each time price recovered at this level or slightly higher. And this week price has pushed up and above these levels. Here's the highs of the minor range. Here's the highs of the actual range. And you can see price has pushed right up and it's pretty much closed right at this level, a fraction above it, but not clearly above it. So it's effectively pushed up to where you would expect supply to be drawn out in the future. There'll be supply sort of at this level and that will be needed to be dealt with in the future. So you might see price test for supply early next week and see how much supply is actually being drawn out of the market. And if there is a positive response to that test for supply, you may see a challenge to this level next week something like this. But that's yet to be seen. Look for a test for supply early next week, especially in response to high volume, widespread. You'll often see a test for supply at least early in the week, and then a response depending on how much supply is drawn out. Gold price futures have also shown quite a bit of resilience recently, not as much as the copper price futures, but resilience all the same. You can see the lows of this range have been tested three times now, and each time sufficient buying support to come in to maintain price above this level. The opportunity has certainly been there for price to push lower, but that opportunity has not been taken, and the market has found support each time, despite the strength in the US dollar. This is resilience in the market. This is the market absorbing the strength in the related market, which is the US dollar index futures, and absorbing that strength and maintaining a level. It's in some way a sign of strength, but it's not showing that strength, it's just absorbing the supply that's being drawn out. And you'll probably see the strength shown at a later date when trading conditions are more favorable for this market. Now, 1700 is going to be a level of resistance, there's no doubt. There's a breakdown line here. Price broke down on this bar and it was unable to recover at this point and it's going to be a strong level. So there's a fair chance price will push up to this level next week. There may be a test for supply early in the week just to see how much supply is being drawn out. Whenever you see high volumes like this, when especially when price pushes higher, with an increased spread, you'll often see a test for supply early just to see how much supply is going to be drawn out. If a lot of supply continues to be drawn out, price will generally pull, push lower in response. But if supply is light, if selling pressure is light, you'll see price generally move higher in response. Look for an early test for supply next week and then make a judgment as to how the market responds depending on how much supply is drawn out. Silver price futures. Silver price futures have shown some buying support come in at this level previously. This is the breakdown line above that. And this is the breakdown line above that. This bar here makes it difficult to see, but it actually looks like this. There was a gap. 
that makes it a little bit more clear. Price accelerated higher this week, pushed up to the breakdown line. It hasn't closed clearly above the breakdown line. Volume was above average. Spread was above average. So almost certainly early next week, you'll see a test for supply sort of like this and then a response depending on how much supply is actually being drawn out of the market. Now, this breakdown line is likely to take a little bit of effort to push through. It's going to require an increase in volume, an increase in force to push through this level. I doubt that the market is easily going to push through it. You can see here and here, price attempted to challenge this level and wasn't able to get through. Now, these two challenges would have weakened the resistance at this level to some extent, but I still expect it will take some sort of increased effort to push through. So look for a test for supply early, and if selling pressure is light, a more serious challenge towards the end of next week. And the 22 level is the level above this where the next breakdown line is and where increased resistance is expected to be felt. Like crude futures did push up to the lows of the old range this week. We saw price find some buying support down here and in response it pushed up to the lows of the range. Then there was a period of consolidation. Price pulled back and absorbed any supply being drawn out and in response, price has pushed back up to this level this week. This is almost a textbook example of what to expect. Now, although it's not a high volume bar, because we're at the lows of the trading range where you would expect resistance to appear, as usual, a test for supply is often the expectation early in the week. That allows the market to see how much selling pressure is being drawn out of the market. If selling pressure continues to be high, expect price to dip down a second time towards the end of the week. But if selling pressure is found to be low and there is favourable trading conditions, look for price to make an attempt to challenge this level and try to move higher. The next level above would probably be there, just below the 100. So that's where the attempt would probably come in if there was a challenge higher. But certainly look for a test for supply Monday or Tuesday next week and then a response depending on how much supply is actually being drawn out of the market. Aussie dollar currency futures have recovered back towards this 65 level where I originally expected support to be found. Here's the previous lines. Now, I expected support to be drawn out at this level, but price sliced through it pretty easily. And it's really only coming back because of the weakness in the US dollar. But that has allowed price to move back. And now it's sitting pretty much at 65 cents, which is the middle of this range where price has previously found support. I was looking for price to move down to the 58 to 60 level, which is a stronger support zone, albeit a little more narrow. But with the weakness being shown in the US dollar and the expectation that it will challenge the 110 level next week, that may allow this market to consolidate somewhat around the 65 level and perhaps attempt to find further support within this zone. So we'll just see, but that's what the expectation is at the moment, that price will attempt to maintain itself within this trading range between 64 and 66 and a half. Bitcoin futures, we looked at this a bit more detail last week. Here are the breakdown lines. And here's the highs of this little range. You can see prices pushed up to the highs of this little range within this zone. This is the zone here where price has traded sideways for some time. I'm a little worried that this market is going sideways for just too long, certainly longer than 
you would normally expect. However, it does look a little stronger than weaker. And if we quickly look at the daily chart again, you can see that price has pushed up over four bars here. And then in response, price has consolidated. Now it's consolidated at a really high level. The higher up in a range, the range being the lows to the highs of this push higher, the higher up within the range the consolidation takes place successfully, then the stronger the market generally is seen. This is like a bull flag in some respects, you might say. And this week you've seen the push out of the bull flag. And that's a positive sign. Now on the weekly chart, it's nowhere near as clear. The spreads are very narrow. So we won't call it a really strong move. On the daily, it's much more clear, which is why we're having a look at it here. You've effectively had a push higher above this level. Here's the push higher. And prices pushed up to the range this week and effectively formed a bull flag if you're looking at classical technical analysis. Here's the weekly chart again. Here's the lows of the range and the highs of the range. Here's the breakdown line, the breakdown line above that. You can see we've pushed up to this minor level. Now, if price was able to push up towards this level next week, it would be a strong indication of strength building in this market. So that's probably what you're looking for. It's around the 25,000. I'm not sure it will be able to do it, but we'll see. A push up towards that level or up to 25,000 next week would be a strong indication of building strength in this market, but it wouldn't necessarily be a breakout. It's only a breakout within this range. The breakout line is at 25,000 or very close to it. And that's where you would see a true price breakout to the next level. The next level is centred around 30,000. So if this market really is strong and is showing an intention to move higher, you'll probably see price push up towards the 25,000 next week. Let's see what we get. Just quickly back to the US dollar index futures, which is the most important chart in this series. Here's the lines. There's no doubt supply was drawn out here and over these two bars here, further supply was drawn out. The market attempted to test for supply on these two bars, but once again, supply has been drawn out on this bar and now price is back at 110 and I expect 110 will be challenged next week. Now, whether we get another test for supply, something like this. And price is able to maintain itself above 110. Or if price pushes down like this and then breaks below, it will be threatening to break down. It will take a clear break below this level, like that, for it to really suggest the market will break down. A clear break below this level and then a response that showed it was unable to recover would be a clear breakdown. But let's see what we get. You might just get a test for supply and then an attempt to push higher again in response because this is a pretty strong market overall. You can see it's taken all this time already. These are weekly bars. You've had supply being drawn out, but it's been able to maintain support at 110 for this whole time. So it's not going to break down easily, but it's certainly got some weakness in it at the moment. Okay, that's my lot. Thanks for your time. Hopefully that was worth your while watching. Thanks again. See ya.